welcome to ESPN's Holiday Hoops. Wolf, the walk on, knocks down the three. Alex Wolf. So, top six RPI league, so we're not fair to classify them in that mid major type category. Foul underneath. And it'll be Alex Wolf going to the line. I charge with the foul. And that is number two on him. They'll see the future early. Wolf steps in, picks up the ball. And Wolf will back it out, hits cool. Six points when yesterday they had around 17, 18 points in the first half combined. Offensively, Western Michigan on fire here in the first half. Getting in traffic, loses the ball. That one on the floor, and possession arrow, it goes back over to Western Michigan. And you saw three white shirts on the ground right there and one red shirt. And that's the kind of effort that Western Michigan has been giving continuously in this entire game. Wolf's triple, got it. Alex Wolf has really given them a lift off the bench, the junior from Michigan. Well, he's been great, you catch the ball, gather yourself, sees Chase and Allen running after him, lets him go, able to knock down the triple. Big backcourt advantage for the Broncos. Feet underneath, good look as they were able to isolate Flanard Whitfield. Western Michigan offensively really just doing whatever it wants. Yeah, Wolf was able to get into the middle of the paint and just making a simple bounce pass. They're very impressive so far, the ability to shoot the basketball and make plays as well. Cool over to Wolf, whose shot is contested, doesn't matter. Alex Wolf knocks down the triple, his fourth three, and Western Michigan really burying it from beyond the strike. You see what he did after he made the shot? I think he, he blew in his fingers. <laughs> I mean, he kid is hot. I mean, the contested Janning in his face, still the ability to pull up over to Janning and knock down the shot. Well, everybody's hot for Western Michigan. Broncos now 10 for 14. Here in Honolulu, raining threes for Western Michigan. Alex Wolf from range. Two percent. But the thing that's impressive is, is once you have that confidence, there, there's no stopping you. Because now people are taking shots that they're not usually taking in the game, but this team has this air of confidence that they believe in the three-point shot. They believe they can knock it down. And when they're making these kind of plays, they're very difficult. Smith off the mark. Toss ahead, Whitfield. In all the games, he was having to find a way to, to really make some of those game-winning plays. Well, they get McDonald bumping Alex Wolf. Himself apart and really demand the basketball. SEC is for Bandy and for Florida to wake up. I think Bandy has a chance to be really special, but they, they lost some games that I don't think they should have lost until, like, you know, Western Kentucky, Cincinnati. Uh, Florida, they lost their last three straight, had a great November beating Florida State, Michigan State, and Rutgers, but then, you know, their December hasn't been too great. Their last two losses came to Richmond and then South Alabama last night at a buzzer beater. You know, and then the should do it here from Honolulu. 75-60, the final score. 
Western Michigan, Jay Williams just took it to Northeastern from the start, and Alex Wolf with a big game. Well, they got after it defensively. They were able to create a lot of turnovers, and they made it very difficult for Northeastern to score the basketball. And like I said before, when a team shoots 60-plus percent from the three-point line, they're very difficult to stop. Steve Hawkins' group able to bounce back from a tough loss to USC, 55-51 yesterday, and Western Michigan wins it here. The first of four from the Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Head Classic. 75-60, our final. Up next, 30 minutes on ESPNU, St. Mary's and USC. Stay tuned for Big 12 Weekly that's coming up next. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Jay Williams and our entire ESPNU crew, I'm John Shambi. We'll talk to you again in a half hour.